Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from the Daily Signal dated October 28th. It is entitled, Is FBI can Still Concluding with Big Tech to Interfere in Our Elections? I'd probably go ahead and put the money on yes, but let's see what the article has to say here. Deep breath. It says, four years ago this month, the FBI worked with Facebook and Twitter to suppress a New York Post story detailing the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop just weeks before the 2020 U.S. presidential election. Today, on the eve of another contentious election, America could see a repeat of what federal district court judge Terry Doty called the most massive attack against free speech in the United States history. The FBI knew Hunter Biden's laptop was authentic in November 2019, yet it repeatedly warned social media platforms of an impending hack and leak operation ahead of the 2020 election. Oops, went down too far. Here we go. So the FBI's false flag served as the pretext for Facebook and Twitter to suppress the New York Post story as likely Russian disinformation in October 2020. At the same time, the FBI's Foreign Influence Task Force flagged other domestic information without distinguishing between foreign and American users-generated content. Following a brief pause due to a court injunction, the FBI resumed coordination with platforms this July after the U.S. Supreme Court punted on a lawsuit challenging the Biden administration's collusion with big tech due to the plaintiff's lack of standing. In other words, not much has changed. In response to a two-year investigation by the Justice Department's Inspector General, the FBI declassified a summary of its standard operating procedures for engaging with social media platforms to counter foreign malign influence. And remember, as I'm scrolling down here, that there was a poll done after the 2020 election when, uh, what was it about, uh, they went to regular people and said, like, if you knew Hunter Biden's laptop was actually real, would you have voted for Joe Biden? And, and it was enough people saying that they wouldn't have, that it would have swayed the election to Trump. So, yeah, I'd say that was definitely election interference. So it says, before engaging with platforms on specific content, FBI personnel are supposed to identify specific credible and articulable facts indicating that flagged social media activity is attributed to foreign actors, not Americans. FBI personnel are also required to make clear that platforms are not expected to act or change their policies in response to information shared with them. That all sounds nice, but these processes lack any real oversight or transparency. Moreover, FBI officials maintain that the Bureau already follows those practices and strenuously denied that protected First Amendment speech was ever targeted by foreign influence task force activities. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> According to court documents, special agent in charge Elvis Chan, and yeah, I remember this dude from the uh, the Twitter files uh, that came out, and he was like the main liaison with Facebook. Uh, it says that, uh, it says, well, according to him, it says that the FBI urged the social media platforms to change their policies on hacked material. Nevertheless, Chan admitted that the Bureau repeatedly inquired as to whether the platforms made changes regarding hacked materials. FBI officials also told the Inspector General that it does not monitor social media content and does not investigate specific narratives related to foreign malign influence being spread online. A Foreign Influence Task Force unit chief even claimed that the FBI acts based on intelligence concerning the activities of specific foreign actors, not American speech. And I imagine this document here, wow, it's going to be kind of big, is the actual report itself. So by all means, go ahead and read that if you'd like. It says, but the FBI often acted contrary to these assurances. In fact, two years after the Biden laptop suppression scandal, the FBI once again censored Americans under the guise of, com of combating foreign malign influence. So the House Judiciary Committee found that after Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Security Service of Ukraine sent the FBI a list of social media accounts allegedly spreading Russian disinformation. Why we'd listen to them at all, I don't know. They're not our country. So the FBI forwarded those lists to Facebook, Instagram, Google, and YouTube, which removed some of the content as a result. And I do remember seeing that. Because while the FBI claimed to target only foreign actors, the list included posts from verified American users expressing views on the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Surprisingly, some lists contained posts from journalists critical of Russia's invasion and even included at USA Peruski, uh, I don't know that, the official Russian Instagram handle of the U.S. State Department. Uh, got it. So it's like the Bureau's flagging of so-called domestic disinformation during 2020. Appropriate safeguards were not in place to prevent protected First Amendment speech from getting caught up in the sweep. So apparently the FBI learned nothing from its past blunders in 2020. Not surprising. So this, and to add insult to injury, the FBI continues to retain some of the core personnel responsible for facilitating censorship of Americans in 2020 and again in 2022. And unless Trump is elected, it can guarantee that those people aren't going to go anywhere. 
says, for example, Chan, who served as the primary liaison between the foreign influence task force and social media companies and who helped orchestrate the agency's collusion with big tech, appears to still be employed by the agency. Chan lied under oath, the New York Post reported, regarding his knowledge of the Hunter Biden laptop investigation and flouted a congressional subpoena to testify last year. Ah, so he's a dick. Says, given the FBI's blatant misrepresentation of its own actions and evasion of accountability, the declassified standard operating procedures ring hollow. It merely reiterates processes that FBI officials claim to follow while colluding with big tech platforms to censor Americans. And with with just over a week before the 2024 presidential election, and at the time you hear this, it's probably going to be in all likelihood after the election, uh, says collusion between the FBI and big tech remains a clear and present danger. And I guess we're going to find out for a few days from when I'm recording this is when the election happens. I'm recording this on the Friday before the election, so I guess... Uh, we're going to find out pretty soon if uh, this is an actual thing or not. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully Trump is our next president. Anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you confident about uh, this or not? Let me know. I will talk to you soon. Bye.